So today we're going to be brewing a porter. We're heading into winter and it's a fitting beer to brew. Um, one of the things that Bruja wanted to do was to uh, constantly be uh, making the process, simplifying the process so that we're using less and less equipment so that you're able to brew in a small uh, basement suite size kitchen or apartment size kitchen like this and you have space for everything. We're going to be talking you through the process as we go through the brew today and just looking at each vessel and getting it, giving you a better sense for the, the various features. What we have here is the Bruja hot liquor kettle. Um, we have the Herms coil though disassembled as we're not going to be using it for mash temperature regulation. We just are going to be using it for producing the sparge water. Over here is the mash tune and we're going to be using the rims type system. So we have a heating element underneath the mash screen and the Ranko digital temperature controller is controlling the power to the heating element in there. We're going to be circulating the wort out the bottom through the chugger and back up to the top for the entire uh, mash period and that's going to evenly distribute the temperature and secondly it's going to give the greatest interaction of the enzymes with the carbohydrates that they're going to be working on. Uh, over here we have the Bruja 3-in-1 and this is going to be the boil kettle that we're using today and then we're going to be directly fermenting in it. So right now we're heating up the water. We've got the mash. Uh, it's about uh, 45 Celsius or about 115 Fahrenheit. And uh, so we're just getting it up to the strike temperature and we have the sparge water which is warming up as well. But on both of these pots we're just using 120 volt elements to heat them up. Um, and it takes a little bit longer than if you're using 240 power but the nice thing about it is that if you're in this type of a kitchen you're able to just pull the power off of the wall panels. Later on we're going to see that for the 3 in 1 we're actually going to use the plug that's behind every electric kitchen stove in the country. So <clears throat> that's a brief introduction now and we're going to be uh, looking at the uh, various steps and kind of cutting in and out as we go along. So here's a look down inside the hot liquor kettle. It's heating up the sparge water. You can see that it's just a 1500 watt, 120 volt ultra low watt density heating element. You can see the bubbles coming up as it's heating up the water. And here we are looking down into the mash tune. You can see the bubbles of the water coming up uh, as it's heating up the water to strike temperature. And you can see the hose from the uh, 90 degree hose barb circulating around. It's going to be putting the wart, circulating the wart around in the mash tune once we turn the pump on. One of the nice things about brewing in your kitchen is of course that you have access to your stove top. So if you want to get a little bit of power, if you're using 120 volt elements but you want to get a little bit more power at the beginning so that you don't have to wait for the heat up, you can always set one of your pots on the stove and use the electricity from the element. The other thing that you can do if you aren't going to be using it in the kitchen, you don't have access to the stove, is you can start you by using a, a Ranko thermostat you're able to start actually the night before and some people recommend doing this because if you're using municipal water and your water is treated with chlorine starting the night before gives the time for the chlorine gas to escape out of your water so that you're not putting it into your beer. Okay so the mash temperature is just about where we want it for strike water and yeah, probably another couple of minutes what we're going to do is we're going to turn the chugger pump on and we're going to start circulating the water just for a couple of minutes because we're going to add uh, a little bit of mineral. Here in Vancouver the mineral content is extremely low in the water. It's almost like distilled water and so I add a little bit of mineral in order to bring the mineral content up and because we're doing a porter in order to balance out the acidity of some of the malt. So I just plug in the pump That's circulating the water around. Sprinkle in the mineral. I'm just going to let it sit now for a couple of minutes until the temperature is up at the strike temperature and then I'll add the grain. 